my dear Islam brothers and viewers of Madani channel, beware. Compassionate speech must not let you believe that because the mercy of Allah is so great, you can miss your salah, not fast in the month of Ramadan, sit in front of the TV and watch films and dramas, stare at women. The mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal is great. So bother your parents, swear as much as you want, lie as much as you want, backbite Muslims as much as you want, hurt the feelings of Muslims. The mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal is great. So break all previous records of immorality. Shave or trim your beard, steal, rob people, drink as much alcohol as you want, intoxicate yourself, gamble. In fact, why not open a casino to gamble and sell drugs and commit every sin you have not yet experienced? Because the mercy of Allah is very great. My dear Islamic brothers, beware of the devil. Do not let him grab you by the ear and force you to obey him this way. Indeed, Allah Azza wa Jal is merciful and compassionate, but He is also indifferent. As He showers favors upon people, He can also punish them. What will we do if He punishes for committing minor sins? Remember, some Muslims will definitely be punished in the fire of hell for their sins. We must fear the wrath of Allah Azza wa Jal at all times and hope that our names are not amongst the hell dwellers. What can we say about Sayyiduna Faruqi Azam radiallahu ta'ala anhu? What fear and hope he had. It's quoted that Sayyiduna Umar bin Khattab radiallahu ta'ala anhu has said, if Allah Azza wa Jal is going to put everyone except one person in heaven, I will hope that one person will be me. And if Allah Azza wa Jal is going to put only one person in hell, I will fear that that one person might be me. My dear Islam brothers, anyway, we must not despair the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal and at the same time not become fearless of His wrath. Let me try to explain my point logically. Take for instance that there are 10,000 Islamic brothers in this gathering and at the moment, now suppose a terrorist suddenly appears on one of these buildings surrounding us with a gun in his hand and shouts out, I'll only fire one bullet. Only one person will be shot. Everyone else will be safe. What do you think? Will 9,999 Islamic brothers stand fear fearlessly knowing that he will only fire one bullet and only one man will be shot? Never. Each and every single person will run in fear thinking that that bullet might hit me. I hope I have clarified my point.